All right, guys, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to put together some A-plus content for your Amazon listings. We're gonna be going over a lot here. We're gonna be going over examples of A-plus content and essentially kind of drawing out the rubric and my recommendations on how to put together this A-plus content to make it easier for you and easier for you, your photographer and designer. Stick around and uh, yeah, we'll jump right into it. In this lesson, we're going to be talking all about Amazon A plus content under brand registry. We're going to show you how to create it, what it is, kind of some competitors and what they're doing in regards to A plus content. And the way that we're going to do this is through an example. We're going to run with the pickleball net or complete set that we developed at Ecom Freedom. And we're just going to use that as a running example for you guys to show you kind of what we did, what we envisioned. There are a ton of ways to go about A plus content. I'm going to give you the way that we kind of do it, what I do for all my brands, what we do for the brands under Ecom Freedom, and what I have seen to work the best on Amazon. There are several different ways that you can go about A plus content in regards to building out charts, building out your brand story, building out different modules, all that kind of fun stuff. I think it's a really good idea to just start off with a quick definition for you guys. Amazon A plus content is an enhanced product listing feature offered by Amazon sellers and vendors. It allows sellers to create detailed and visually appealing product descriptions that go beyond the standard text and images found on regular product pages. A plus content provides an opportunity to showcase the unique selling points of a product, highlight its features, and engage customers in a more compelling way. I think the best thing to do to here now, guys, is to hop in my computer. I'm going to show you guys what I do to create A plus content. We're going to go ahead and hop into Seller Central, create a module, and we'll go from there. In regards to your A plus content before I get started, um, obviously you need to actually create the A plus content. There are a couple of different ways that you can go about this. You can either use the partnered photographer slash videographer here at Ecom Freedom. There will be a link to a Google form in the description of this video. You can also use a graphic designer, assuming you have PNGs or renders of your product and they will essentially take your product and build them in different backgrounds. That is what we did for the A plus content that I'm gonna show you in this example. You can also use somebody off Fiverr or Upwork who has good reviews and let them take on the project of your A plus content. It is very important to know the different ratios and sizes that your A plus content should be. So we're gonna hop in the computer now and I'm gonna show you guys how to create this stuff. It's a really good idea to get out and see what your competitors are doing in regards to A plus content before you kind of take the leap and create your own A plus content. The idea here is to take the golden nuggets that your competitors are doing and compile it together. And if there's something that you think is better, then obviously incorporate that as well. We're just gonna do some general research around here now for you know for complete pickleball sets. And uh, we're gonna see what other competitors are doing in the industry. This is the first kind of competitor we came across. It's a complete pickleball set, of course. And as I'm reviewing their A plus content, it doesn't look amazing. There's a lot of words. I mean, to be completely honest, this is good for indexing on Amazon, but as a consumer in this case, like this really isn't gonna move the needle for me. This USA pickleball proof stands out to me. And these images down here are kind of nice. However, up here is like, this doesn't even really fit. Robin's Corp, I don't really know. Like this is your brand story. I don't like to include brand stories more often than not. I find it redundant, especially on Amazon. That's somewhere where you want to encompass that on your actual website. So they got some pretty cool things going on here. I like this image where they have USA Pickleball approved. That's really cool. That is something I would probably incorporate into my A plus content. And then they have the full package in here. That's cool. So this is another competitor here. This is the listing. So they have a, like a kind of like an astrology vibe to them. Again, this is okay. Pickleball net is designed with 360 lockable wheels. That's cool. You can move it around. Some action shots. I like that. Showing people using the product. This is a really cool little feature that they have. Kind of outlining the different specs of their net and how it is easily to assemble. This is also something really cool that we should have incorporated into our A plus content back when. But like I said, this is an older listing. If, if you know the product, you know what happened to it by now with the welds and stuff like that. I won't go into it because I think it's a bit redundant. However, this is something really cool that we could have captured. Again, 
it's nice to have older people kind of in the A plus content here because uh, pickleball is generally tailored towards you know that demographic that's 50 plus that kind of wants to get outside on average right not not all the time we'll just look at this last one here there's a lot going on here it's pretty busy if i'm honest i'm as a consumer i'm not going to read all this unless i really really want to this is cool 22 feet three feet very very easy to tell this is kind of dumb i don't know why they have it on grass it's a pickleball set pickleballs do not bounce on grass i would not consider that very good Okay, and this is a cool depiction of it all kind of laid out. I like that. All right, guys, so we, we have some ideas here, and um, now we're going to go and put together our A-plus content. If we come over here to Seller Central, and I go into the hamburger menu here on the left, I go Advertising, A-plus Content Manager, and I come up and go Start Creating A-plus Content. We have enha Enhanced Product Description and Additional Content Types. I like to create five basic modules. It just says create up to five modules of enhanced content to highlight the features of your products. And then there's obviously the brand story. The brand story, like we showed in the last depiction of this product right here, it's like the brand story is right here, right? It's just like to the left. It's like, I don't know. I think it's a bit of a waste of real estate. It says tell your brand story across all your products and your brand, add your logo, brand picture, brand description, and answer questions about your brand. We're going to go ahead and create basic. I'm just going to call it 002 HP 001 because that's the SKU. I'm going to say add module. When you come in here, there's a ton, ton, ton of different modules here that you guys can add. Now I'll give you my recommendation and you can choose whether you know whether you want to take that or not. So I think it's a good idea for you guys to study which kind of what your competitors are doing and what kind of A plus content you want because everybody's going to have a different preference. Of course, you can do standard comparison charts, standard four images, images with text and quadrants, images with dark overlay, text overlay, standard image with header, standard image with module. Like you really, it really depends on what you want. But the way that we do kind of A plus content is that we want all of this inclusive in the images before we even upload it, right? Like if I want, um, a comparison chart, I'll probably build that into the actual picture. So I like to go with standard image header with text for the most part. And I usually just kind of plop things into, into place. As you can see here, it's going to be 97 by 600 is going to be the ratio of the image. That can be 1940, 1940 by 1200 as well. That just needs to be the size, right? That's the sizing ratio. The first thing we have here is the headline. So what the headline is and we don't have it actually encompassed in here because I left the headline blank because I didn't really want like the kind of mishmash in between what the headline would be if you were to do it it would be this right here right you can check out the official USA pickleball website at the following link I don't include that in my a plus content but you can if you want when you go to your designer you need to know that you need a 970 by 600 or you know 1940 by 1200 image and then you're going to take your image and you're going to drag it in here and drop it so this is the image keywords this is like the alt text some people say that the alt text here is in fact taken into account by the amazon's a9 algorithm for indexing for certain keywords it's just one of those things that we want to make sure that we include some different keywords inside of this image header i'm just going to include pickleball complete set we don't have a ton of real estate here. We only have 77 words, but that's fine for now. And I can also put something like that, right? And I can do that for each image. I have that image in there. Body text, same thing. The body text I can show you here. That would be this guy down here, right? But you can either choose to put some text in there or not. I usually don't. So I'm just gonna go down to the next module. I usually do standard image with header, and then I will take this guy, this guy, whoops. Okay, now I drag my guy over. It's uploaded, I would enter some text here now. Um, you would probably, you're, you're probably want, gonna wanna put in some uh, keywords from your master keyword list here, guys, for the indexing. I'm only just typing in kind of gibberish keywords now for uh, simplicity's sake. 
as you can see here, the difference is that like they have their text here. I wanted to build my text into the actual product. That's what I like to do. As you can see here, comfortable grip handles, professional size net, four pickleball paddles. This picture right here actually isn't live. This is edited by a, a graphic designer. They edited our pickleball paddle in this image. I'm gonna go ahead and add another module here, another standard image of text. And then I will haul it on over. Keep in mind that you get five of these standard images with text or modules, sorry. Like I said, we have our text in the image here as opposed to in the headline or body text. I just find it's just a bit redundant. People don't really read that anyway. I'm gonna come over and do another standard image with text, right? Come in, actually, I think you're gonna be, yeah. I'm gonna delete that one because the rest of the modules that I have, it was a 600 by 8, 180. I'm gonna come over and drag it over. Um, I'll say like solid protection or whatever, right? That's gonna be the next image, building up some customer trust in, in this image here. For this next module, guys, I am going to add, because we have another uh, small standard text I'm going to add a standard image with text overlay and I'm just going to say add a background image and it's going to be this guy right here. We're just going to say bag, but you're going to want to ensure that it is coming from your master keyword list. That's enough modules for now. That's five. Uh, we're going to go ahead and apply our ASINs. Our ASIN is going to be this guy right here because that is our product. And we just type it in, click it, apply content. And then we're gonna override our current content. And we are going to go to next review and submit. This is how it turned out, pretty good, right? Obviously I didn't add the text overlay on this last image down here. And this is how it's gonna look when it's kind of uploaded to Amazon. You can see that is super nice, super clear and concise. And then that is our A plus content. When we go to submit this, submit for approval, it's gonna come up and say seven business days to review. And then obviously Amazon is gonna review this on the back end and then they're gonna come back and either approve or disapprove your A plus content. Obviously it takes some time to create this content. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the ratios are 970 by 600, assuming you're using standard header images and you are going to want to ensure you do your research on your competitors, see what they're doing, make sure that you can implement something similar into your brand or obviously better what they have on the market right now in regards to their A plus content. You're gonna to wanna to capitalize on every single little corner that you can when it comes to Amazon FBA and on Amazon and A plus content is a fantastic way to do that. There are studies out there that say that A plus content is proven to increase your conversion rate, increase customer trust and get the message of your product across your customer that much easier. All right guys, thanks for watching that video on A plus content. I hope you guys learned a lot there. I know there was a bit of knowledge to kind of soak up there. I hope you guys got your aspect ratios down and all that kind of fun stuff to kind of approach a photographer, 3D render, or whatever the case may be, whoever's putting together your A plus content and getting the ball rolling on that. So hope you guys get a lot of value out of this and I will see you on the next one.